an editorial about the department having a quota system for handing out tickets. Our public information office has issued a statement denying this, stressing the point that there are no quotas. Not one citizen will believe that statement, so be prepared for some flack today as you hand out citations. Might make it a little more difficult for you to meet your quotas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. Check your pin maps and hit the street. Dismissed. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. Webster, Gillis, Danko, I want to talk to you for a second. Hey, did you get a chance to read the statement that Detective took from the eyes, girl? No, not yet. Yes, sir. What's wrong? Well, the only thing wrong with it is it doesn't qualify as a statement. At best, it's a weather report. It was dark, it was foggy, she couldn't see all that clearly. That doesn't sound like the girl you told me about when you brought her in here that night. Yeah, well, Lieutenant, any statement is as good as the questions asked, and uh, maybe the questions are at fault here. That's possible, but it's not likely, Webster. Salton Stall is the best interrogator we have in the precinct. Yeah, but he gave me the impression that he doesn't care who killed that guy. All right, I'll talk to Salton Stall. I want one of you to talk to the girl and find out how she feels about her statement. I wonder uh, which one of us are they talking to the girl? Yeah, one minute. Pick a number from one to ten. An eight. Uh, two. I win. He's so lucky. He's bad. Man. Hey, Sam. This gentleman has 15 more minutes coming to him. If you'll just kindly wait downstairs. It's okay, honey. He's a friend of mine. Well, then the rate's for dual massage. He doesn't want a massage. He just wants to tell me something. What'd you get, Junior? Well, I, I, I tried that guy I told you about, the one who works for DMV. And he got fired, so he can't open the license plate at all now. Any other way to trace that car? Uh, there's a million of them around, Sam. They all look alike. We can't just leave her running around loose. There's got to be some way. Uh, it had a uh, um, Have a Nice Day bumper sticker on the back, uh, an orange and black decal. I couldn't read it, though. That's the university. What'd you say? Black and orange decal. That's the parking sticker for out of the university. How about that, baby oil? You get out there and take a look, Junior. Her car's got to be around there somewhere. That's it, man. Gives you some time to talk to me. Come on, buy a drink of water, huh? What about? Oh, uh, things. Thanks very much for that lesson. Same time tomorrow? Yes, could we? Is this the guy? Yes, it is. You're not doing her or anyone else any favors, you know. What? Well, uh, nice meeting you. Uh, what's your name? Lydia. Lydia, nice meeting you. Very friendly girl. What's that all about? Nothing. Nothing? It was nothing. Well, oh, you believe that? I got a couple of events with Huffcats, so I can't just you it. I don't know what that means. If you don't know what that means, it means your friend don't like me too much, and I'd like to know why. Well, it's just that some of my friends at the university have been telling me about this Billy Stomper. Yeah? They say that I should just let it go. Let it be. Oh, and did those friends talk to you before you gave your statement to Sergeant Salton Stone? Yes, a little. And then between you and Salton Stone, all of a sudden it was too foggy that night, and uh, you couldn't see, and you're not sure you could recognize that Stop. man? But why, Pam? Because I do not know your country. I, uh, want to understand. When I was little, right, I used to go to the cinema, and I'd see gangster movies, and I said that was America. Then I grew up, and I went to work for a hotel, and I'd see these ladies in rhinestone glasses and men who drink rum at 10 in the mornings and stayed in the sun too long. And I said, that's America. 
now I've come here to study and I've made friends, you know? And they tell me what I'm what I'm trying to do for you is wrong. They say that the man deserves to die. And I shouldn't do anything. I don't know your country. I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know anything. These uh people that you're talking about uh once drinking at ten o'clock in the morning. Do you ever drink beer? Yes. What do they do with the bottles? Leave them on the beach. Ruin the beach, right? Yes. Pamela, uh, letting a murderer go free is not going to help the looks of the beach we're on right now. Regardless of what your friends told you. Now, I'm going back to the station, and uh, I'd love to give you a ride if you want to change your statement. Okay? No. I have to go change first. Can I help? I'll see you at the station. some change in your story, isn't it, Miss Hines? Yes, I suppose it is. You suppose it is? The reason I asked one of my men to talk to Miss Hines was that her statement there seemed so different. I don't know as much about these things as a detective would, of course. It just seemed to me that kind of a discrepancy ought to be cleared up. I appreciate your help, Lieutenant. And you believe you could recognize the driver of the car if you saw him again? Yes, I do. Officer Webster, would you take Miss Hines upstairs and have her start going through the mud files, please? Yes, sir. Good morning. I hope you guys know what you're doing. What we're doing is what I thought police officers were supposed to do, Sergeant. Uh, I mean, a man's been killed. We're trying to find out who killed him. No man was killed, Danko. That thing was killed. The slimy slug that crawled out from under a rock and learned to walk on two legs. I'm afraid Danko's attitude is my fault, Sergeant. I neglected to point out to him the regulation that lets an officer decide which guys are the good guys to kill and which guys are the bad guys. That was an oversight on my part. Eddie, it's getting into you. You wouldn't have taken this attitude a couple of years ago. I wouldn't. You bet. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Ray. It's not often a man of my age gets to hear that he can still learn and improve over the years. What are you two smiling at? Just someone who knows how to keep on learning. Am I hip or am I hip? Well, I think the word is hip, Lieutenant, and you are. We're hip, you're hip. After looking at all those faces, it's hard to believe everyone in the world is not a criminal. There were so many. Knowing that maybe you won't be so trusted next time you leave the door unlocked. I didn't. I'm sure I didn't. 